guys, how's it going? It's Joe, your personal trainer here, back with another video. And today we're gonna be going through an in-depth tour of the gym, basically the whole setup where we're working out, where we're training, all that good stuff. But before we get in, let me tell you guys, this project was absolutely insane to get this to where it's at now. So what we're in right now is a garage of the house and it was absolutely trash. But like I said, I'm gonna show you guys little clips, little pictures. Let's go ahead and get right into the gym tour. First and foremost, I wanna show you guys the wall right here. We have the AF wall. So we painted the wall black and then did my logo in white. That way for the clothing brand, I can do photo shoots, things of that sort, or just whoever comes by, if they wanna take a picture, this is a pretty cool fish wall. So I thought it's pretty cool to have. If we back up just a little bit more, we will come to the first squat rack. So cameraman, if you do me a favor, make sure we get a nice, good, solid view of the squat rack. This was a second rack that I got. Originally started with the rack that you're gonna see later in the video. But let me tell you, this was one of the best purchases I made. So awesome in the amount of things that you can do with it. If you guys can see right here, I had the TRX system hooked up to it. And like I said, this was an awesome buy because the legs extend further out, which make it so much more stable, so much more sturdy, all that stuff, and really maximizes your potential with what you can do with the squat rack. So I absolutely love this. Like I said, this was the second one that I got. If we come around this way a little bit, we can see the Oblix Fitness poster right here. And hopefully the lighting and the glare doesn't come off too bad. But the reason for the banner, was to promote the brand is to promote you know my company all that good stuff so just to have a little bit more promotion um is really the reason why we have the banner up in here and then we have our model sore through i think i'm gonna make a video explaining all that stuff the whole backstory about of licks fitness came up but we have this wall painted in gray we have a small fan for when it gets hot we have a little heater for when it gets cold we have some water, some Gatorades. And then the next thing we have is a little file cabinet right here, a little plastic one. Basically what I have in here now, we have some boxing gloves with the sparring mitts, I guess. Don't know what they're called. But um, have that in the bottom two drawers. And then in the top drawer right here, we have, again, just some miscellaneous stuff. We have bands, tape measures for measurements. We have the jump ropes in here, um, a pump for some of the equipment, massage ball. Tennis balls, or I need to add more tennis balls, it looks like. But just some miscellaneous stuff right here. And then we can go ahead and make our way to the bigger file cabinet that really, really saved my life in terms of storage. Um, use this a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here. So basically, starting off, got the JBL charge for this thing absolutely blasts, especially in here with the closed in walls. Hand sanitizer, some regular sanitizer to clean all this stuff up absolutely necessary clipboard for some work stuff um a couple supplements right here watch check this out total war by redcon one i have the sour gummy bear flavor i just started using this maybe a little less than a week ago and let me tell you guys this thing is absolutely insane if you're down on energy and you need some this is a good one to get um some old two pound dumbbells that i'm honestly probably going to replace i've cleaned these like a million times and they just do not look nice so probably going to replace this pretty soon. But we got a couple two-pound dumbbells right there. And then if we want to make our way in, we can check out the first drawer on the cabinet. So to check it out, we have some paper stuff right here. Just some office stuff. If we come on this side, we have wrist straps, lifting straps, some more bands, clips, collars, um, really just some more random stuff. So we have all that stuff in here. And if we come into the second drawer right here, we have a lot of different items. So we'll kind of run down the line, starting off with the dip out. So this is pretty cool. Absolutely love this dip out. Shout out to Pump Chasers and Chris Charles because this thing is just an absolute beast. I've loaded this thing up with over 100 pounds and it's held up. Super, super durable. Love this thing. We have a cheap squat belt right here just to make sure we keep our core safe and tight. We have a foam roller right over here. A hip thrust pad, super, super thick and durable. Love this thing. A speed ladder. That way we get more cardio-based exercises in. Again, keeping ourselves healthy, keeping ourselves in shape, all that good stuff. An ab roller. And then we have um, an ab mat. So that's the second drawer. Coming into the third drawer, we have inventory on hand. So we have some clothing items in here. We have the men's shirts all right here on this side. And then if we come to this side right over here, we have the women's crop tops. 
as well as the Oblix Fitness wristbands right there. So super nice to be able to hold some inventory on hand inside the gym. And then last but not least, we come down. As you can see, this is where we store the first aid. So just random stuff right here. Some extra paper towels, first aid kit. And then we have cleaning accessories right there. Paper towels, tissues, um, if you wanna check in. So we have mask right there as well. So sometimes people will come in, they wanna have some masks. We have masks right there if need be. And just a lot more extra cleaning supplies, sanitizers, all that stuff. Always trying to make sure that we're prepared for everything. And just trying to make sure that we keep this spot clean. This stuff isn't cheap, this stuff does cost a lot of money. This is stuff that you wanna take care of. This is stuff that you wanna cherish and really make the most out of. So keeping it clean, keeping it safe, and just making sure that this stuff lasts a lifetime. You wanna make sure that this is stuff that you can use basically forever. Some more cleaning supplies in the corner. And then we have some of the newer additions. We have our dumbbell rack with the Red Fitness dumbbells. So I just posted a video of these dumbbells. These just came in, what was it, yesterday? So got it set up. I have the dumbbell set, five through 50 is from Rep. These I bought second hand. Some extra weight, these are with the standard um, holes. These are not for Olympic bars, these are just for the standard bars. We have a medicine ball right here. We have some battle ropes, again, just to make sure that we're maximizing our cardio-based exercises. This is just another cheap bench that we have right here. This one we really don't use so much for heavy exercises, say like bench press or anything like that. Those are used more for accessories. Also I have some of the samples up right here. Like I said, we have clothing on hand, so more promotion for the brand. We have three, we have the three men's shirts right here just to showcase the different designs. These are the original dumbbells. So these are the dumbbells that originally started off with like I said, I think these just came in yesterday, so trying to get rid of these, but at the same time, I kind of like having double of the set. So thinking about selling them, probably will sell them, but these were the original dumbbells. As we come over to this side, this side's the ugly side. That's the pretty side, and this is the ugly side. We're still working on this side, trying to work on getting everything cleared out, cleaned out, all that good stuff. And then basically keeping these shelves, that way we could use later on for the gym. I have a big industrial fan, that way in the summers, if it gets really, really hot, we can turn that bad boy on. This right here, this was the first bench that I bought. This bench is an absolute tank. This bench goes from flat to full incline. So full incline, and then seats come up, all that good stuff. But like I said, this bench is an absolute tank. I absolutely love this thing. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, like I said, this stuff is just covered up. I have a random pull-up bar that I had bought before I had any of this stuff. But um, if anybody wants a pull-up bar, come and grab it. <laughs> this right here is the first squat rack that I bought. This bad boy right here. Believe it or not, this actually costs more than the red squat rack. But anyways, we have a standard Olympic bar right here. Got this at a local fitness shop, so Definitely a heavy duty solid bar. Um, it's held up very, very well. Squat rack, like I said, super heavy duty squat rack. This is as heavy duty as it gets. Right here we have the rubber coated or urethane coated. I don't know what it is. It's something, but there's some nice plates. This is 10 pounds. So I have basically about 300 pounds of, yeah, I think it's about 300 pounds of weight in plates. So pretty cool. I like the little aesthetics, has a red kind of matches up with the squat rack, so it looks really nice. Have some 45s, 25s, 10s, two and a halfs, basically everything you need, and um, yeah, have it right there. And then if we come a little bit more to the back, we have some more items over here. We have a performance ball right up in here that I definitely, definitely love using this a lot. Use this so much, so that was a must have for the gym. We have a bigger foam roller right here. And then we have a nice thick yoga mat. So this yoga mat is super, super thick. It's not thin at all. Definitely gonna do the job and make you feel nice and comfortable when you're doing exercises on the floor. We have risers right here for the step ups. So we have that. And then we also have a BOSU ball. This was another mandatory item. These two are fairly new to the gym. But like I said, 
these things that are over here towards the back or I guess the front are super super important pieces that honestly I think when people start to learn how to use these things it's just priceless and a must have when it comes to having your own gym having your own setup so definitely super super important pieces I love that I have them now right here we have some extra matting some extra flooring from what we have right here and um, basically, I'm just keeping these around for when we do deadlifts. So one of the next goals is to build a deadlift platform. That way we can do deadlifts in here. Don't have to worry about the foundation. Don't really have to worry about too much. But until we're able to get that put together and set up. So we just have some extra mats right here. That way we protect the foundations a little bit more. And last but not least, if we want to come right around over here. We have a little scale right here. So again, definitely a must have. You gotta have this, or you know, <laughs> you move the TRX. So definitely a must have to be able to track your progress and all that stuff. So really, really nice. And then a printer for all your printer needs. So um, that was just a little bit extra, but you can't be official without a printer. You gotta have a printer. <laughs> so anyways, basically that is pretty much the whole gym. That's a setup that we're working with. Like I said, when this started off, this was in my backyard with just a few things. All we had was this black squat rack, the barbell, this bench. We had the plates, the performance ball, the gray one. Just a couple uh, pairs of dumbbells. We didn't even have all of these. When I first started, I think I only had the 10s, 15s, or no, the 10s, 30s, and 60s. That's all I had starting off. Little by little, filled up the set from 5 through 30. And then we had the ball and the ropes. And for the most part, that was basically it other than like some bands. So from where it's come, where it's come to now, it's been absolutely insane. This has only been a couple months in the making and to be where it's at and to know that it's still growing. There's still pieces that are gonna be coming in very, very soon. There's still things that are gonna be added. And just to know that one of my dreams of owning a gym, having all this stuff, doing all these things, is slowly but surely coming to life. My goal with this stuff isn't to keep it as a home gym. My goal is to get quality, great equipment. That way I can open up my own little location, whether it's a private spot, private training facility, or a public gym, whatever the case is, slowly but surely working my way up to having my own Playland, basically, like my own Disneyland. This, to me, this is the first part, that first step into really accomplishing my dream, living out my dream, and all that stuff. So that's basically it, guys. If you guys have any questions on the gym, if you guys have any questions on the equipment, prices, anything like that, where you can find it if you're in the SoCal area, or some of the stuff that I bought online, all that stuff, leave your questions down below in the comment section. Make sure to get all those questions answered. Other than that, guys, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys back in the next one.